In this training package, we will explain the VU mat subroutine for progressive damage of 3D continuum composite element using the Hashin failure criterion. The following questions are answered by the materials in this bundle. When can we use these subroutines? Which theories are applied to composite materials' three-dimensional elasticity? Which hypotheses are used to the continuum element's progressive hashing failure? Following that, subroutine writing explanations and related workshops will be discussed. To get the most out of this training package, you should first go through the introduction to UMAT and VUMAT subroutine and a backers training program which is available on the website. After you've finished with this package, you can move on to the advanced package to learn more about UMAT and VUMAT subroutine writing. This package includes almost 90 minutes of the introductional video, which includes simulation-related items, tips, and information, as well as practical examples for writing the subroutines and all simulation files, subroutines, along with other items are provided to you. First and foremost, you must understand when this subroutine is required. VUMAT is the subroutine in question, so it uses the explicit solver, and in addition to being used in dynamic problems, it is also used in static and quasi-static problems with considerations amplitude and time resulting in comprehensive use of this subroutine in solving problems. The next stage is to propose a hypothesis regarding how hashing damage initiates. The fiber failure and matrix failure formulas are presented in both tensile and compressive states. What will be the reduction of properties according to the 3D hashing criterion after the damage initiation? The stress can either stay constant with no change in characteristics or it can diminish slowly, exponentially, or abruptly. We'll be doing a gradual reduction in this package, and it'll be of the exponential type, which is a more complex type. Maximum stress failure criteria for shear stress. In the next section, we will explain the subroutine line by line. Here in workshop 1, VU mat subroutine has been implemented using continuum element for composite materials. A rigid bullet has impacted on an 8 layer composite plate with a layer thickness of 0 0.2. Note that the adhesive is employed between the layers and adhesive behavior is linear in elastic phase and also in linear in softening phase. You can see the movement of the bullet and the rupture in the result section after the problem is solved. In this workshop, we will implement the VU mat subroutine for a static model. In this workshop, we demonstrate that this subroutine may be utilized in a statistic mode. Even if the issue differs from the dynamic explicit solver type. This is a simple tensile loading on a hold plate whose dimensions are specified in this image. Also, for simplification in modeling, a quarter of the model has been simulated. This option is selected if we want the results in the form of animation when analyzing. Also, from state V17 to 23, the Hashin damage initiation criterion can be noticed. 
I hope you have received the items that you're looking for in this package. Follow us on our social page and website. Have a nice day. Hope to see you again.